<laughs> this is Clarence Cobb's granddaughter. <gasps> oh my. Clarence. Who is Clarence? Oh, it's way before your time, sweetie. He passed this year. Oh, I'm sorry. He was a wonderful man. Yeah, he was. Thank you. They just found out about Clarence and Mary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you all know about this. I didn't know a thing, Alan. Alan, what you don't know about what we did back in the day could probably fill every book on these shelves. Oh, hush. <laughs> That's true. Feels like they're back with us. Clarence's mm. granddaughter standing right where mm. Mary used to put the tree. And why don't you have oh, that tree right. up yet, Michael? Yeah. Is it Santa coming tonight? Uh, time's ticking. The romance, the secret romance, so sidetracked me. You mean you two? Oops, just like Mary and Clarence. Uh, I meant uh, Clarence and Mary. Shoot. Hush. What? I'm confused. If they were such a great couple, why did they break up? Well, why don't you finally go get a Christmas tree and I think you'll find out. What's that supposed to mean? Well, honey, all of us knew about Mary and Clarence, but it was my husband who actually sold him that Christmas tree. You know, he still sells them out on his farm. The Christmas tree? Mm. You mean you've seen the painting? Oh, no. No, no one's ever seen the final painting. Well, Clarence did sketches, but uh, <laughs> back in the day, he and my husband sure did raise some cane. <laughs> <laughs> of course. He mm. never gave it to her. She never mm. saw it. Oh. He never said it to her. That's why it was in our attic. Hey, you know, if anyone has answers about your grandfather back in the day, it'd be my husband. Feel like getting a Christmas tree? 